Hello, I'm the CNC Repairman. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set spindle orientation on an umbrella style tool changer. If your machine is a bit newer and has a larger LCD screen, the steps for the control are gonna be a little different, but as far as the mechanical, it should be the same. To begin with, let's see where my spindle orientates. That's not correct. It should be parallel with X. Anytime you change the spindle belts, the encoder belts, or change the parameters, you're gonna to need to reset your spindle orientation. To do that, the first thing you need to do is go to settings seven and turn the parameter lock off. Then enter a service mode by pressing the alarms page and typing the word debug, D-E-B-U-G. Press enter. Now press the position button and page down until you see position raw data. Now reach over into the machine and turn the spindle by hand and watch the LCD screen. You're gonna turn the spindle until you see the number on the screen reach zero. Once you've reached zero, turn the spindle positive until you get to the first time where the dogs are parallel with X. That's where we're gonna go ahead and set the orientation. Now one way to do it is to set up a dial indicator and measure between the dogs and get them within 40 thou or closer. And that works, but it's a little tedious. So I'm gonna recommend that we jog the head down and we're gonna run it up against the block. This will help us confirm that it is set parallel. So I'm gonna jog it all the way down just until the dogs blip into it. Now I'm gonna jog Y back and I'm gonna see if I can turn these. Now I can, so I need to jog Y forward and I'm gonna drop the jog rate and I'm gonna continue to jog it forward until I can't turn them anymore. So there's still a little bit of turning there. Come until they just both contact. So now we're gonna look on our screen. The number on our screen is 881. So I'm gonna go to parameter 257, press the down arrow key, and the current value is 200. So I'll press E stop in, we'll confirm, 881, type in 881 and press the enter key. Now my spindle orientation is set to that position. Now I'm gonna handle jog Z out of the way. And now I'm gonna, in MDI, tell it to orientate the spindle. And there we go. The spindle is orientated right in line. The next thing to do is to check your tool changes. You wanna be sure that as the tool changer comes in, it's totally clear and not hitting the dogs on either side, and that the height is also correct. That's how you set your spindle orientation. Be sure to exit the service mode by pressing the alarms page and typing the word debug again and press enter. Now go to setting seven and turn your parameter lock back to on. If you need any parts, tools, or repair kits, please check out the website CNC Replacement Parts and the rest of our YouTube channel for more info.